great artists have six Tonys between them, Miss Gwen Verdon and Mr. Alfred Drake. Actually, Peter, we have eight. Yes, we do. We have our own and the two that we've come tonight to present. <laughs> I worried you, didn't I? <laughs> the nominees for the best actor in a Broadway musical are Barry Bostwick in Greece, Clifton Davis, Two Gentlemen of Verona, Raul Julia, Two Gentlemen of Verona, and Phil Silvers in A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum. And the winner is Phil Silvers. <laughs> I'm always associated. <clears throat> you wouldn't believe it. I'm Ethel Merman's vocal coach. Uh, I have always been associated with being a brash, loud comedian. But believe me, on my word of honor, I wasn't sure of this. As God is my judge, this is a rented tuxedo. In fact, everything I'm wearing is rented. Larry Blyden was so sweet, and I was so happy. He just he deserved the award he got. He got us here. Forum was supposed to be done in Los Angeles, and that was it. In the repertory group there, he wouldn't let it die there. He got the money up somehow, and we came here. Oh, God, we came here. <laughs> it is assumed. Don't cry, Phil. They don't know that about you. <laughs> It is assumed my children and their mother, my five girls, are watching in Los Angeles. And tomorrow when I call them, I'm sure they'll be happy. And then we'll want to know, was David Cassidy there? <laughs> but by God, I was here. And Larry Blyden, who I mentioned, got us here. But first came the word. The Bible told me that. And the wonderful words. Larry Gelbach and Bert Shevlov and the magnificence of Stephen Sondheim. You don't do it alone. The only thing you handle alone is anxiety. <laughs> but something great. You have great people around you. And to my cast who are watching, not my cast, the kids in our cast, who are watching in various motels around the city. <laughs> Find a permanent place to live. <laughs> My very dear friend who convinced me to do this, there was another play available. Shep Fields, who's sitting here with me, drinking this in with me. Young Frank Levy, who found the play, who convinced the people at the Amundsen to do it. And I'm not essentially a religious person, but I think I really am. I don't exploit it, but I've always been partial to the men, the men who write the words. <laughs> but uh, my closest friend is Sammy Kahn, the well-known lyricist, <laughs> who wrote by Mir Mr. Shane. But he'll forgive me if I borrow from another lyricist my get-off line. The wonderful dear Palberg who wrote, Happiness is just a thing called Joe. Happiness. <laughs> he knows I drink a lot. He also, as he does every night, kill the hell of a punch. Happiness is not only a thing called Joe. 
There's a thing called Tony. Thank you so very much. I hope I deserve it. <laughs>